tags inside of Obsidian can be created by pushing the hashtag and then the name of the tag, but making sure that there is a symbol between words. So this tag works, but to add the one into the tag, I need to connect the first word and the second word in this case as a number. And for me, I just use a dash when I want to connect words together. You can then create sub tags by using the slash. And again, if you want to connect two words together, you'd have to put a symbol in between them. So in this case, I'm going to put a dash between the sub and the tag. The other way of adding tags to a page is using front matter at the top of the page or YAML. You can add something in the front matter by adding in the three dash lines, then underneath it, put another three dash lines. And then in between those dash lines is the front matter. That's the front matter information or YAML information, maybe another word, metadata of the page, and it has to be at the top. So in the front matter, I'm going to write out tags, space, and then list out the tags. You can see in this example, I've listed out the tags. So I've got a tag, a comma, and then a word, and I haven't connected the A to the second tag. So in the tags pane, you can see we've got A as a separate tag, a third tag, second tag and then tag and what this shows is you don't have to put a comma in there for the tags to be identified but for clarity i do it and if you don't put a symbol in between then it will take up two different tags another option is to use a bullet list instead so we would take out the list going across in the line underneath tags add a bullet list so that would be a dash and then space and then type out the list of tags writing out the tags exactly the same but if you want to use a sub tag making sure you have the slash in there once there are tags in your vault, so in this case, we've got tag one, tag two, and then a sub tag. When you type in the hash symbol, it will then give you an auto select option for completing any of the tags. Then for the tags inside of the page, not the YAML, you can left click on the tag and it will automatically search for that tag and all the files that the tag is in. Alternatively, you can go to settings, core plugins, search for the tag core plugin and then activate the tag pane which you can see up here on the left side of the screen and then you can push on any of these tags and they will then be entered into the search in the tags pane you can change the sort order to either a to z z to a or frequency so high frequency there are lots of pages with this tag or there are not that many pages with the tag you can then show or hide nested tags so if you push this button you can see that nested tag that sub tag is now underneath the first tag. And if you're showing the nested tags, the other button appears and you can collapse all or expand all, or if you want to, you can individually go over and push the toggle button on the side of the top level tag. Unfortunately, if I'm looking to search for multiple tags or say tag one, but not tag two, or if I want to rename any of the tags, that isn't default inside of Obsidian, so we need a community plugin. So we go to the settings, community plugins, turn on community plugins if they're turned off, browse and we're looking for tag wrangler so i'm going to install it enable and you can see in the community plugin section tag wrangler is now enabled because the toggle is on but there are no additional settings for tag wrangler where you see the options is when you go into the tags pane and you right click on a tag you then get this menu rename tag does exactly what you'd expect it renames all the tags so it does a find and replace if i get rid of the two and push ok you can see it's now renamed the tag to just the tag and what it will do to all of the subtasks is rename all of the subtasks as well so at the moment in this page we have tag one slash sub tag and tag one if i rename the top level tag to the same as the other tag so just tag and push ok it's going to give me a friendly warning and yes that's what i want to do it's now done a find and replace so now tag one is tag 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 one and the sub tag is also tag and when we look at the tags pane we've got four instances of tag and then the sub tag now i've duplicated the files we've got new file and new file one this one's got a tag and then a tag sub tag this one's also got tag but tag one and sub tag so if i look for the tag in search it's going to show both files because this has got the tag and it's also got the tag but tag wrangler allows me to get rid of this page because it's got a tag one in here as well and i don't want that so i can right click on the tag one and go exclude tag one from search now you can see in search it's looking for files that have a tag but not tag one. The search option is the same as the normal core plugin when you click on a tag. The collapse and expand buttons is the same as the button up here in the core plugin pane. But what you can also do is create a tag page. And what that does is it creates a file. You can see down here, it's created a tag file because that's the name of the tag I was on. It's then created an alias for that page with hashtag tag. Now this page functions exactly the same as a normal page just with an alias that says hashtag tag. So if you look for a page in the bracket search for linking, you can see we've got the tag because that's the name of the page. And then we have the hashtag 
tag because that is the alias for the tag page. Both of these will link to the same page, the alias giving an alias at the end of the backlink. This short video is included in my extended brain course where I go into more detail about my workflow inside of Obsidian, some of the other intermediate and experienced features you can use inside of Obsidian combining community plugins, but also other apps and tools that I use in my workflow like Zotero and Morgan and other things like that. So all the links and stuff is in the description below if you're interested.